This is magnetic plaster, so it makes an ideal feature wall in a kid's bedroom or in a kitchen or anywhere your imagination takes you. Consistency you're looking for is a little bit thicker than normal. So my plaster's all mixed up, it's on my spot board ready to go. It's time to get it on the wall. This is magnetic plaster. Although the product itself isn't magnetic, it does attract them. So it makes an ideal feature wall in a kid's bedroom or in a kitchen or anywhere your imagination takes you. Because it's not actually magnetic itself, it doesn't interfere with any electrical items in your home, such as Wi-Fi, pacemakers, or anything of that nature. So let's go mix it and I'll show you how to get it on. So I've got all my walls prepped and ready to receive my magnetic plaster. I've got my cold, clean water to mix it with. If you're going to mix this plaster, make sure you check the back of the bag for the manufacturer's recommendations and also check the date on the bag as well. Here is a selection of tools that I may need to do this job. I've got them all, so let's start mixing. So I've mixed up my magnetic plaster and the consistency you're looking for is a little bit thicker than normal because the manufacturers recommend two to three mil on the first coat and one to two mil on the second coat. So it is natural that you want it a little bit thicker because you are putting it on thicker than normal. Also needs to be said that once you've mixed it and the lumps have gone, stop mixing straight away because over mixing will affect the second times and also make sure your tools are nice and clean after you've finished. With all that being said, let's go and get it on the wall. So my plaster's all mixed up, it's on my spot board ready to go. It's time to get it on the wall. So that's it. The first coat is on to the required thickness. Now comes the tricky part and the important part. You need to leave this for approximately 40 minutes before you flatten and apply your second coat. So I'm gonna get all my tools nicely cleaned up and have a cup of tea. So this wall has had about 40 minutes now. What you're looking for is a pretty matte effect all the way over and to be firm to the touch before you start flattening off your first coat. So it's ready to go, let's get it on. Right, that's it, the first coat is nicely flattened and ready to receive the second coat, so let's go mix up the second coat of plaster. I've mixed up my second coat of plaster and I'm going to apply it to the wall now at a thickness of one to two millimetres. Right, that's it, my second coat is on. I'm now gonna leave that to firm up enough, ready for my next flatter. So, the wall has been left, sufficient time to receive the final trowel, so let's get it finished. wall is completed. Once it's finished like this, it will just need to dry the same as any other plaster. And also, when you come to decorating, you do not need to apply any additional additives before you paint. It's exactly the same as all of the other thistle plasters when it comes to decorating. This is what you've plastered it for. Straight away, it's magnetic. Awesome stuff. I'm John from a Construction, and this has been How to Plaster with Thistle Magnetic. <laughs>